If you guys do not learn how to navigate through the workplace, you're gonna ruin your earning potential, you're gonna ruin your money, you're gonna ruin your opportunities, you're gonna ruin all the ways that you can support yourself. So in today's video, we're gonna break down all the things we can learn from Mel Tucker and the soccer president that resigned recently. And Mel Tucker probably will lose his job eventually. It's not looking too good for him as well. They're just delaying the inevitable. But the whole point of me making this video is because a lot of you guys don't understand the state that we are in when it comes to the workplace and how shysty it can be and how fickle it can be and how cutthroat it can be and how ruthless it can be in that such environment. And if you guys are not aware of these things, you're going to struggle, right? So in today's video, we got to break down all the things to look out for. So before we get too far into the video, you guys just hit the like button, um, hit the like for the video, comment your thoughts after the video, or if you guys are uh, resonating with this message. So we live in a Me Too era where it's hashtag believe all women. So when you guys do things at the workplace with women, they're going to take her side of human resources because human resources is mainly women as well. They're, you're already in a deficit in these corporate jobs. There's a whole bunch of women around. They can easily say something that is deemed uncomfortable. This is why men don't even talk to women at the workplace outside of the workplace. They just keep it specific to what their job is in that job, at that job. So, you guys, when we're looking at this male Tucker and this president of this soccer corporation, you guys have to know what's at stake. Mel Tucker was in for 90 some million dollars just to throw it away on his situation. The soccer president, he was a president, probably making millions of dollars held its soccer in a different state. So he's probably almost making nine figures. If I can just learn to stop spitting right now, let me take a drink of water. So both of these guys are millionaires and they threw their jobs away because they did not know and understand the ramifications of the society that they are in and the and the ramifications of how these things can be twisted and flipped on them like that. So if you don't know what's at stake, if you don't have a I keep your eye on the prize mentality, you're going to lose out on this opportunity. Next, in this world right now, in this workplace where it is with the Me Too stuff and the believe all women and you got you're working around a bunch of women that are feminists that are trying to get your job that are trying to uproot you to make the money you guys better have and i'm going to keep saying this some sense of the discipline because if you don't this is going to cost you thousands, if not millions. These guys, it was millions of dollars. You guys are gonna have to avoid dating and flirting at the workplace. You're gonna, you're just, you're just gonna have to. Because it's too risky to flirt because that woman can take your flirting one day, right? She can be happy and okay with it on Monday. Come Thursday, you say the same line, she's upset. Now you're in 
human resources explaining that I said the same thing to her on Monday and they don't want to hear it. You can't really explain that away. It's he. He said, she said. So if you guys are doing these things with women at work, you're becoming an easy target. It's all it takes is for you guys to exchange numbers. And now she has documentation through text messages and women most certainly screenshot text messages, have your name on the text messages. They know what power position you're in and what they could potentially use to get you. And guys, if you're having sex with women at work, I mean, you can might as well just hang it up. If that woman, if that woman decided to crucify you the next day at Human Resources, you're done. Because all she has to say is, well, I didn't consent. You guys understand how goofy and stupid all this shit is? My goal in this video is not to tell you that the male sucker situations are BS and to tell you all the different ways and break down the story of how these women use these different things. God, that's not the point of my video. The point of this video is to give you guys insight on how easily you can lose your job. And these guys were making millions and some of you guys are making thousands. And it's so easy at the workplace, you're doing the most innocent things ever. Matter of fact, I even went through a similar situation. Um, I'll probably link it in the top right if I can remember it. Um, I think it's a video about why men are uncomfortable with women at the workplace. That's my personal story. Complete utter BS. Woman really made up a whole bunch of uh, nonsense that I did not say. And because it was a he said, she, she said situation, it didn't go anywhere. But I could have easily been a victim and lost that job or got hit with a um, suspension or got hit with a misconduct at work, whatever the thing would have been, right? Very easy. So a lot of you guys are thinking, well, it won't happen to me. It most certainly will happen to you and it can happen to you if you're not knowledgeable and privy to these things that I'm telling you. Right? Because this is the thing you have to understand. Women are fickle. And so at any moment, she's capable of turning the tables on you, which is one of the scariest things known to man. She can take a sentence that is non sexual but still say it's uncomfortable, report you to human resources. You have a misconduct, you get hit for something. So guys, your earning potential is very important in this society because if you can't earn money, you can't make a living. I mean, you might as well just throw it in the bag. It's how else you're going to take care of yourself. And who wants to hire somebody that has a sexual misconduct or sexual harassment or whatever? How are these two men going to get another job after this, after they have a record? I mean, the, the soccer president was picking women up on the shoulder, kissing women. Mel Tucker was sexting. Guys, it's so easy. It's so easy for you to mess up. So you guys are going to have to have, don't mess with women at your job. Keep it strictly business. Don't go do anything else because until the society changes, 
and it is changes in its structure, you're going to always be privy to these things. You're going to always be victim to these things. And once they get rolling downhill, there's not shit you can really do about it. So that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support the channel are in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. You guys have a good day, good week. We'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.